Okay, this is an instructional video on how to prescribe medicines for discharge. Begin by checking you're in the correct patient profile and the prescribing within the correct encounter. Use the request slash prescribe tab within the menu to prescribe discharge medication by pressing reconciliation, discharge. You can see here that on the left hand side of the prescribing page, you have all the current prescriptions and drugs recorded as a drug history. Drug history icons are indicated by this scroll icon and all inpatient prescriptions are indicated by this hospital inpatient icon. Furthermore, it's split into home medications which haven't got an associated inpatient prescription, i.e. they've been withheld, and medicines continued for the drug history and newly prescribed prescriptions um, prescribed during their admission. In order to prescribe for discharge, you simply have to press in this middle column, which creates a new discharge prescription. So for this example, if we wanted to continue aspirin and Lansoprazole, result, we would select the middle column. Pay attention to any changes in dosing during the admission and prescribe appropriately. If you want to continue withholding a medicine, for example here, Ramipril, which has been withheld during the admission, in order to ma make sure it doesn't appear on the TTO, we leave these fields blank. It's important to note we do not use this stop, stop column. If you want to leave a medicine off the TTO, leave the field blank. If there are any inpatient prescriptions you'd like to continue, you can do it in the same way and continue them. In this instance, none of these are, are suitable for prescribing on discharge because they're intravenous forms and this is a fluid. So if there was a new medication that was needed on discharge, we can, do, we can add it by pressing add and searching for it in the same way you would search for an inpatient prescription. You can see here now that it's generated a new discharge prescription that's not associated to any prescription that's either been documented as a history or an inpatient prescription. You can then work through and complete all the mandatory fields for the prescription. Paying attention to whether this is an admission med or not. In this case, Comox Club isn't, so it'd be no. And whether the GP is to continue it. Importantly, for antibiotics and any new prescriptions, it's necessary to input an indication, otherwise the system won't allow you to continue without an indication. For admission medicines, such as aspirin, we don't have to field an indication. Once you're happy with the prescription, signing will commit the prescription to the system. For the first time you create a discharge prescription for the patient, the system will ask you whether you're happy and whether the prescription is completed. By pressing OK, that makes it appear on the pharmacy screening page for screening. If it's not to be, or it's not completed or not to be processed by pharmacy, you should untick this box. If it's required for pharmacy screening, like most inpatient prescriptions, leave this box ticked. We'll ask you for a time for when it was processed and you can leave it as the current time. By signing, you can see now that there are three new orders processed all with this pill pot icon, which indicates it's a discharge prescription. They can now be screened by pharmacy and the supply made. If you need any more support with this video or anything else, 
please contact your ward pharmacist or contact one of the digital division who will be able to help you with the content of this video.